utilizing the Miller technique and taking this thumb and retracting the skin and holding the vein and the skin in place, go uh, aggressively through the skin into the vessel, pop, see the flash, pull back and advance. That's how it's done guys, it's that easy. Alright, so based on her height and weight, I'm going to give her IV lidocaine about 130 milligrams and 50 milligrams of lidocaine. Uh, there. People always ask me why I don't give it all. It's based on height and weight. Okay, so she is asleep based on her height and weight and everything like that. Again, I'm going to give her 35 milligrams of Zemuron, a non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agent. I just wanted to show you, I'm ventilating her. She's a little difficult. Look how her um, chin recedes a little bit, a little bit of overbite, and a small oral diameter, which means this is going to be a challenging uh, intubation. That's why I'm using the video scope. Okay, so let's see what we got. We're going to open her up a little bit, go down central here. Let's look and see what we got. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at that airway. Beautiful. I fogged up a little bit, but I can still see it. You guys probably can't very well. Right in. Okay, so hook up my circuit. Let's see if uh, we got humidity. We do. We're in the right place. That's always a damn good thing. Good symmetrical chest rise and our... End title is positive, good vital signs. I'm happy with that. I don't know if you guys can appreciate this. This is on her arm, and I'm, I was looking at it, and I'm saying, oh, my God, she's having histamine release, allergic reaction. No, it's where the tourniquet was. Her skin's very, very sensitive, and some people are just like that, usually with fair skin. So I just want you to be able to appreciate, look how weak her chin is and how much soft tissue there is down here. Um, that always makes for a challenging airway management situation. And she wasn't easy, but she wasn't hard either. All right, so um, we're just a few minutes after um, induction. And um, as you can see, vital signs are just perfect. Gas flows are good. Vent settings, good. Boom, boom. That's how we roll. Hey, did you guys catch that? I gave you the wrong uh, dosages and names for the induction agents. It was actually 130 milligrams of propofol, not lidocaine, and 50 milligrams of lidocaine, not propofol. Thanks, Malik059, uh, for pointing that out. All right, I know you're not supposed to air your dirty laundry, but I wa walked into the bathroom, and look what I found. Look at this. Who does this? Guys, if you have uh, co-workers or friends or family members that do stuff like this, let me know. <laughs>